Okay, before I start, I'd like to tell a little story. Um, I grew up in San Diego in the 60s and the 70s and uh, often went to the San Diego Zoo. My, my parents used to take me to the zoo a lot. And one of my favorite um, attractions was the uh, gorilla enclosure. Now, they weren't in cages, they were in this big concrete and there was a pond and trees and, and uh, so you stood at a railing, there was a big moat and you were just right there, 20 meters away from the gorillas themselves. And in the late 60s, one of the male gorillas uh, developed this habit of very slyly defecating into his hand. And then he even got at the onlookers. And he could really throw this guy. I mean, another incarnation, he could have pissed for the Red Sox. So it became a huge attraction. And there would be hundreds of people all lined up every day to watch him. You know, oh, is he going to do it? You know, sort of thing. And, oh, there he goes, you know, and people were ducking and waving. And it was a huge thing. Um, I'm not making this up. This is a real story. So um, one of my favorite James Taylor songs, which I only started singing about 10 years ago or so, was... Um, the song Gorilla, off of um, the album of the same name, uh, released in about 1975, I think. Um, so I always felt sorry for that gorilla, and I thought, boy, if I was in the same situation, just stuck out there in the open being gawked at all day long, I'd probably, I'd probably do something the same. <laughs> just to amuse myself. Okay, so here we go. Got arms like legs. You got hands on his feet. You got a nose like a donut. You got a tendency to overeat. You don't use tools or weapons. You don't eat meat. He likes to stick to the bushes. Tends to avoid the street. Gorilla 